Hello, uh, my name is Kimberly and I am a uh, part-time seller on platforms like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari. I send things into um, ThreadUp and The Real Real. <clears throat> and today we're talking about ThreadUp Partner Kits. Um, if you saw one of my last videos, which I will have um, linked in the, probably in the description and also I will have it at the end as, um, you know, a you can click on it. I don't know what that's called. Anyway, um, so um, I sent in a thread up uh, partner kit. It was for, I have the thing up on my screen, Reformation. And when I was talking to you guys, when I was showing you what I was sending in, I said that, you know, I didn't think they would take it all, but I was going to do my best. I didn't want it back. I will tell you that they ended up taking 96% of my kit. They actually didn't accept one item. That's it. And I'm kind of not surprised. Um, I don't even think you guys actually saw the piece in the video. I think it was one of the things that didn't make it to the video. But it was the thing they did not take was a rag and bone graphic tee. The graphic was a little bit like cracked and I wasn't sure. Um, I think the style of the shirt meant it was supposed to be cracked, but like if you don't know that you don't know that so it was a gamble and I'm okay be with it because I paid about two my cost of goods on that was about two dollars so I don't feel like I lost a lot but I want to mention so they ended up taking 30 of the 31 items that I sent them um this was for a reformation gift card and I got before the boost because there was a 15 percent boost on this kit they uh, were going to give me $63.92, but with the boost, I ended up with a total payout of $73.50. Considering I sent them a lot of Shein and lower end brands, I sent them Avon. I mean, I didn't send them cream of the crop things. I sent them things that I didn't want to list. I couldn't sell, things like that. So I'm actually really, really happy with this. So I decided... I'm going to show you what I'm sending in in my next partner kit because I have, <coughs> how many do I have? I have three uh, partner kit labels left, different partner kits. Uh, the one we're sending in this time is for, I wrote it down, it's a Vera Bradley partner kit. I know there's like a 15% boost on this one as well. Um, and again, this is not necessarily great stuff. Not even going to lie. It's stuff I don't want to list. It's stuff that I haven't been able to sell. Um, it's even things that I've sent in to thread up before they've accepted and haven't, they weren't able to sell. So for me, this is kind of a box of not trash or anything like that. It's just stuff that just didn't move. It was just nobody, not enough attention. I mean, there is one or two pieces that had a lot of attention. I would send offers and it went nowhere. So that's the point of this, is I'm gonna send it in and see what happens. I do not have return assurance on this. It's just what they take, they take. What they don't goes in it, one of those thread up rescue boxes and then we're good to go. But considering they took 96% of my last box, I'm happy. Not necessarily saying I feel confident they're gonna do that again, but I also don't think I'm gonna lose like 50% of this box, if that makes sense. So I'm going to show you again what I'm sending in on this Vera Bradley Thread Up Partner Kit. And yeah, um, I'd love to know your thoughts. And if you've used the partner kit to send in, I cannot get regular um, clean out kit labels. So this is what I'm just doing with things that I don't want to sell myself. I do have things that I'd love to send in in a regular uh, kit, but until I can do that, this is what I'm going to do. And, you know, with these gift cards, maybe I'll flip something. Maybe it's for me. It just depends. But let me show you what I'm sending in. I have it right here. It's kind of boxed, but I am I need to rebox it. So up first is this medium exist uh, sweatshirt. And it's kind of a crop sweatshirt that says, what does it even say? Galentine's Squad, which sadly is not going to make it there in time for Valentine's Day but I couldn't sell it and it's been Valentine's and I've had it listed, I'm over it because I've had it for almost a year. Next is this uh, t-shirt that says Radiate Positivity. It is new with tags. It didn't retail for a lot. It's a plus size. Um, the thing about this one, 
I have had it in my death pile forever. I bought it for 50 cents. I like selling graphic t-shirts, but for some reason, I was not motivated to list this one. This is the first graphic t-shirt that I've just been like, later, later, so I'm over it. <laughs> Next is a wallet. This is the, f I don't normally send in things like this in a partner kit, but I'm giving it a try. Uh, it is new with tags. It is bad, uh, Badgley Mishka. Um, I just haven't been able to sell it and I've actually had it for two straight Christmases. I'm over this, so it's gotta go. <clears throat> uh, next is a new with tags bikini top. It's from Zaffle. I got it in a, a Plato's Closet clearance sale and it didn't move. So I figured I would send it in. Hopefully they have better luck. Next is this, um, it's CC California, new with tags. It's a plus size t-shirt that says, uh, the future is female. I love this t-shirt. I've had it listed forever. It's had a little bit of attention, but no biters. Nobody's bought it <laughs> clearly. So it's gotta go. Next is a new with tags performance shirt. Um, it's from the brand Pelagic. I just haven't wanted to list it so over it so yeah we're going back to the Shein so I'm sending in some more Shein pieces this is just a simple tee I really don't like the material of this and I didn't know how I was going to explain the material so I'm sending it in this is a pair of Shein jeans have the label there they're size extra large and that's part of the reason I'm sending these in they're stretch jean that has intentional distressing and they're an extra large and I mean like I don't know how you describe extra large jeans I hate measuring jeans that don't have a regular size mm -mm. Sorry about that, someone was at the door and got to an answer. Okay, if you have seen, um, I on February 1st, I posted a Joe Mar unboxing of a, th um, it was a brand specific box. It was Ann Taylor Loft and it was supposed to be Lewin Gray. There was no Lewin Gray, but that's beside the point. But you will actually recognize some of the pieces that I'm sending in. These were pieces that I don't want to list. I don't think will move. I don't do well with the sizes, things like that. So. One of the pieces right now, this is an Ann Taylor, uh, this is Ann Taylor Loft. It's a medium. It's just this sleeveless floral top. I just really don't want to list it. It's not going to, it's not going to bring me much. So next is this, uh, Loft, uh, petite, uh, blazer, the size zero, zero P. I don't have luck with this. So I'd much rather get that upfront payout in a gift card than sit there and keep sharing and sharing and sharing and sending offers and sending offers if anybody even likes it. Next is another petite. It's a zero petite and it's this particular blazer from Loft. <clears throat> There's more, but they're down there. What do I have next? Next is this pair of Adriana Goldschmidt jeans. They're the Ballad uh, Slim Boot. I have just not had luck with these jeans. I have sent them in to um, thread up. They actually sold and got sent back and then they didn't sell again. So I'm sending them back in because I'm kind of over them. Um, next up, I'm sending back. This is something I've sent to them. This actually sold and got sent back too. It's a uh, Jessica London. Um, it's like a, a lavender jacket with like it's really cool detail front and back I actually have one in white as well I'm actually gonna list that one again um, I think the white may do better than the, the purple but we'll see next we have an Ann Taylor petite 10 petite uh, blazer it's like this nice polka dot I really like it but I don't do well with petites, so I'm just going to send it in. And I don't really do well with blazers. I am going to list one that I got, but that's just because it's more of a, a white classic blazer. Next is this Ann Taylor Loft Large Sweater. 
I just have no desire to list it. I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. Um, this is a matching pair of slacks to that blazer, although this is a curvy six. Um, if you did see the um, unboxing that I did, you'll know that these actually needed some deep, some seriously deep, deep hilling, oh my gosh, in this area. And I did it last night or whenever. And um, yeah, I pretty good, not too bad. So I'm gonna send these in, mostly too, because I'd rather keep it with the blazer um, they may not be a perfect match set, but they really are. If you put them, if you put them side by side, you can tell that these went together, even if the sizes don't say that. More Ann Taylor. Um, next is this loft petite dress. It's this kind of color block type dress. I don't want to list it. Uh, here's another too petite blazer. I really like this blazer, but again, the size is why. Because um, I really liked this hem. But I just, these sizes do not sell for me. Alright, we got hit in the face with the clothing. So some of the weirdest sheen pieces were in that last box. So, and they took them, and they're listed, and they're selling. So I'm sending these in. This is an extra small, like, top thingy. Great description. This is another Shein um, crop top. It has a size on there, but I can't tell what the size is. So I'm really hoping that um, ThreadUp can tell. Because I, I can't. <laughs> And I feel dumb saying that, but um, I'm sending in this Cyrus uh, Nuitide cardigan. I have had it now since I've had it a while. It has. I've had. I had three of them. The other two have sold, and this one has just not moved. So I'm over it. Time to go. Um, next is this Pro uh, Probel Garang for Target. I got excited by the label, didn't see the four Target piece, brought it home, and it has just not moved. So I'm sending it in because when you ever get frustrated with yourself over something and you just want it gone. And this is another Shein top. This is really cute, um, but I just, I, yeah. I'll admit that when I get, I mean, I get the Shein boxes sometimes from Jomar and I don't mind them and I've actually had really good luck with them but there are pieces that I just don't want to list so that's why I do this uh, this is a size small Shein it's this uh, dress um, I tried the I would have listed this except that every time I tried photographing it it looked like a sack so I'm really hoping they have much better luck because that is so cute <laughs> The last thing that's going to in this kit is something that I just could not seem to get photographed. So I'm hoping they can do a good job. It is another Shein piece. It's an extra small, but it is this super cute maxi slip dress. It's really nice. I would have totally listed this, but it's such a long maxi and I have nothing that will let me photograph. When it comes to maxi length dresses, I try not to pick them up even though they do well unless I'm sending them somewhere because I don't have a setup to take great pictures of maxis. So I'm just going to send it in and like I said my cost of goods on that was under a dollar so I'm you know if they if they uh, take it and it kind of falls in line with what happened with the last box I will be pretty happy about it. I don't think anything else will go in the box, although a few things, there were a few things that I have, I haven't decided on just yet. There's a few things I want to go through and just kind of decide how long have I had it, have, you know, if I've had something since 2020, it's probably going to go in this box, unless it's like a designer piece that I know it's all about having the right buyer, because there's one or two pieces like that, that I have, that I've had since 2020, but 
we've been in the middle of this <laughs> and people haven't necessarily been dressing up and going out people were working from home things like that so there's a few pieces where i have faith that they will sell eventually but they need the right buyer because they're not it's not like a classic louis vuitton or a you know nothing like that it's you know cheetah print hot pink jimmy choo heels those need the right buyer and they need to go somewhere so that's kind of stuff that i'm like yeah i'm not gonna rush i'm not gonna worry i'm not gonna panic i'm not sending that in but if it's prabal garung for target that's been sitting around since 2020 you gotta go. I'm over you. I don't want to share you anymore. So this is the stuff that's going in this partner kit. I am sending this in. Well, I'm filming this on February 1st. I will send this in on February 2nd. The last kit I sent in, got, they got it within a week and they processed it within two days. Like they told the, the processing time said it would be processed by February 14th. I was like, okay, awesome. And they processed it like the next day so if the same holds true for this i could have another video as early as february 14th on what happened with this thread up kit it just depends obviously on how backed up they are and how long it takes for them to get the box and the usual but thank you so much for coming back checking out what I'm sending into ThreadUp. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Are you taking advantage of the uh, partner kits? Are you able to get partner kit labels? I know some people aren't even able to get those. So yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts and I'd love to hear your thoughts on what I'm sending in. Um, if this is stuff that you would list yourself or you'd send in, all of that. Um, and I will see you in the next one whenever that is or whatever that is. And Thank you for coming back. I hope you like the video. If you do, give me a thumbs up. If not, give me a thumbs down. Anyway, it works. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.